afterwards we have to do the swap as we have seen in the uh, previous example so how do i um, do the swap uh, what we do is this is the code for swap sorry there will be a do and a i plus one is a i is assigned to a i plus one i equal to i minus one and so here the swap is simple because i have a copy of the element that i am trying to insert so there is no need to um, do something with that element it's already in the variable key so there is only the requirement that i have to copy the current element or i have to push the current element towards the right and that's what i am doing here because this is a position to the towards the right of the array and this is a position that is towards the left of the array in other words we are simply making this exchange and what we are doing i we have to decrease by uh, one because remember we are moving towards the left of the array and also in the a i plus one position we are copying the element key copying the variable key so that is insertion sort as you can see from the uh, example above the simple idea is that as we take a new element insert it into the sorted array we move towards the left side of the array and push whichever element is greater we push those elements towards the right so why is the complexity of the insertion sort order of n squared because you can see that uh, there is a outer for loop for every element here we have to uh, for j equal to 2 to length a we have to execute the outer for loop and also here we are executing an inner for loop in other words for every new element we have to go in the worst case we have to go to the extreme left of the array to find a suitable position for it to be inserted and that is why the complexity of insertion sort is order n square so next we will see um, two other sorting algorithms merge sort which is much more efficient order of n log n that is the optimal complexity and also quick sort which is order of n square yet for most situations it's a very very efficient algorithm 